Today we're going to do a quick test. We have an Energy Apex and a Goal Zero Lithium 1000 and we're going to do a load test. This one has a 1500 watt inverter, this one has a 1500 watt inverter. So we're going to put a 1500 watt load on it and see which one cuts out first. But I must stress that this one is rated at the battery for 550 watts continuous. So we will be stressing these. And this one, I have no idea what will happen. All right, so first we're going to turn it on and we have a watt meter and we're going to put it on the watt setting. And then right when I press the heat gun starter, we're going to press start and we're going to see how long we can power this for. So we've got 1600 watts and we've got 1300 watts at the outlet. We're going to see how long it can run it. So two minutes and 41 seconds when the inverter cuts off. And we discharge 16% of the battery in that time. All right, same test with the goal zero. Turn it on, press start. And we are pulling 1500 watts. So this one actually has a better output. And then over here we have 1529 watts. So already the inverter efficiency is better and the output is better as well. All right, guys, we're getting a temperature warning right here. Oh, it turned off. I wasn't even here. Well, I'm glad I was filming it. But Oh, it turned itself off, so it's completely done. Wow. So what did we learn today? I cannot believe how well the Goal Zero did. I was not expecting that at all and even though these have the same size inverter they have the same exact watt rating inverter this one cannot provide the power because the limiting factor for this i don't think it's the cooling system they have like the same amount of air going through them it's the battery discharge rate so the battery that they use with this is not designed to work with this inverter on the manual, you can only use 550 watts continuously with this model. So I was expecting it to cut off after a couple minutes, but I had no idea that something of the same price, this one's actually cheaper, would provide so much more power for so much longer time. And so for this system, the battery is designed to work with the inverter. This is strategically engineered. The parts inside are matched properly. And I feel bad because I know Energy is gonna watch this, but whoever designed this you guys need to fix that that's not good if you have 1500 I mean I, I'm guessing that the limiting factor is that the BMS that they're using on the battery because the battery cells can handle that discharge rate but I think that the overcurrent protection on the battery itself is kicking in or it's the over temperature and wherever you put that temperature sensor is not a good spot to put it I don't know, maybe this one has great performance, but this will fail faster. Maybe they have the over temperature so that this one will last longer. I'm not really sure, but I think it's really cool to test these and see how much more capable one is over the other one. To make this test accurate, I'd have to do it you know, a couple hundred times and then maybe test um, what the capacity of the battery is after doing it over and over to see which one would degrade faster. But yeah, that is crazy. I think the Goal Zero is a clear winner. I can't believe how long this thing ran that load for. That is really incredible. They did a good job here, whoever designed this. So yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. I was totally amazed by this and I hope you guys learned something too. If you have anything that you wanna tell me below, something that I didn't think about, please let me know. And if you guys wanna learn more about these systems and other DIY solar power systems, check out my website at www.mobile-solarpower.com and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.